Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to the 17th of May. So this is my daughter-in-law's standard schnauzers. And I used to sell standard schnauzers, and I gave them my standards to raise after my knees were replaced. So she is super busy with her work. So I graciously said I'd give them a haircut, and I'd do a video for her because she can only do about a 14 minute video on YouTube and I can stretch mine out as long as they want to go. Oh, they're going to find the water. I gave them a pool. They've never seen the water. So we're probably going to set somebody in there in a minute. And uh, I'm anxious to see if they'll play in the water. And I know Amy's never had some of these toys at her house. So I don't know if they'll use the little kids tyke or if they're just going to run around and play. So we did some pictures. I'm also going to put them on our website. Do me a favor, go set one of them in the water. And let's see what they do when they go in the water. If you can get there before they run, they'll come to you. Yeah, just set somebody in the water and see what they do. Maybe somebody else will get in with them. She's like, oh, I don't know if I went in there or not. Try a gray one. Oh, they're leaving you. If you call them, they'll probably come. There you go, you'll catch one. Come around the other side of the pool, so he has to go. There you go. Now drop him in. So he's got to go a little bit farther. They're like, oh, nope, not sure I like the pool. Um, these guys are 10 weeks old, and Brittany was gracious enough to help me do pictures this morning. And uh, we did microchip numbers, and I can hear my dogs. They all know there's strange puppies on my property. So my dogs are barking in the background. Um, we gave him a haircut. And they're really getting big. Mom is a salt and pepper, and Dad is a black. And so there's been standard schnauzers in our family for probably, I don't know, going on 12 years, maybe. Um, I love standard schnauzers. They are great dogs. They make great family dogs, and they're really good uh, watchdogs. They do need to be socialized a lot if you're going to take them places and do things. I would do it right off the bat <clears throat> and get them used to people, other circumstances, riding in a car. Um, the biggest thing is crate training. You really, really want to set down rules and boundaries and limitations with a standard schnauzer. Not a whole lot different than a mini, just a bigger version. Oh, these guys are going, this is all new grass. Yeah, I even brought them out toys and they're like... Uh, I, they'd just rather smell the grass. It's a whole new location. So there is two blacks in here. One has a neon pink collar on, and the other one has a purple collar on. And there is two salt and peppers who are having a tug of war. I'm trying to get my shadow out of this. So I'm going to move back to the other spot. I got right in the sunshine line. So these are the two salt and peppers. One salt and pepper has a purple collar. The other has a light pink, which I think looks white in this video. I know. All right, so I'm going to give you uh, collar colors, microchip numbers. And that way you'll have some idea who is who. Uh, the light pink collar is the salt and pepper that looks like she's got a white collar on. She's right there with a purple toy in her mouth. She's playing with a rope toy. And her microchip number is 7016. Oh, they're thinking about it. They're all going to go over. I made it shallow enough I thought they might get in it, but I didn't. Brian said that they have never introduced him to a pool, so I wasn't sure if they would try it or not. I had standard schnauzers that would swim in the wintertime if you gave them something big enough to get in. Um, so the light pink collar is 12.6 pounds at 10 weeks old. The other purple collar in here, uh, let's go to the other, the neon pink collar, which is the other big female uh, that's the salt and pepper. She's back there rolling, hopefully on something that does not stink. <laughs> Either that or she's just enjoying the grass. Uh, but her microchip number is 7004. She weighs 12 pounds, 1.5 ounce. And let's see, the neon pink collar standing right behind her is the black female. And she is 16.2 pounds. She is the big, oh, there, he jumped in the pool. 
I'm trying to do this one-handed and I'm a little shaky. So this one's in the pool. This is the purple collar black one. So she decided, oh, that's not too bad. I gotta zoom back out a little bit. But the uh, neon pink collared black female is huge. She's 16.2. Um, the other black female in here is microchip number 3534. And she is 12 pounds, 6.5 ounces. She's right down here eating the grass underneath me. And that's the light baby pink collar next to her that's the salt and pepper. And I don't know if I gave you the neon pink, the big female in here. Um, her microchip is number seven. No, I'm sorry, it's not. It's yeah, it is seven oh one five. Is the uh, the neon pink collared female that weighs sixteen pounds. So that'll give you the stats on these guys. Um, they were great to groom. I had no trouble uh, with anything. They had a bath. I actually didn't give them a bath. Brian gave them a bath before I picked them up. These guys are going back to Brian and Amy's house. So if you are interested in these guys, uh, they live in Johnstown, Ohio, which is central Ohio, near about 13 miles from me. Uh, their phone number is 740-404-6106. <clears throat> and it is in the information on my website. Um, the only thing they raise is standard schnauzers and they raise blacks and grays. A lot of people don't realize that's the only two colors they come in. Um, and these guys are, they have gorgeous coats, gorgeous coats. They were super good, super good to groom. I had no issues with them whatsoever. Um, they've got teenagers. So these guys have been around kids since they were little. Uh, they're just big squish balls. They like to be played with, they like to be held. And they're like, we are hot, we are tired. I knew this was going to be hot on the black ones. In the summertime, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't know what the choke is. Uh, this is like having a black sweatsuit on and going outside in the sun to play. This happens to be the neon pink collar puppy laying here on the ground. But they are, they were really good here last night too. They've never been here. Uh, we had them in the house in a 5 by 10 kennel. We had two in a kennel. And they were quiet all night. Oh, she says, what is that? That's a motorcycle. But she says, where is the shade? But I really thought they would be like, but they've never been around toys like we have because I have toys for smaller dogs since we don't do the big ones anymore. And uh, these guys are used to playing out and playing rough with each other, running in their kennel. They've got a big play yard at their house. Um, and Amy has a Facebook page that some of her past pictures are on from when they were babies. And I, and don't shoot me on this one. I never hardly get on Facebook. I think it's called Amy's Great American Standard Schnauzers. But I think she's in Facebook jail right now. I'm not sure she was, and she doesn't exactly know why, but she's in Facebook jail. Um, so this will be on um, my channel, uh, YouTube channel. It'll also be on um, my website, since Amy is a little bit tough to get a hold of right now, but you can reach her by phone. She does work in the mornings um, off and on, so usually afternoon is the best time to reach her, or you can shoot her a text. That is her cell number. Boy, it's a motorcycle day on 62, isn't it? It's a nice day today. We're supposed to be in the high 70s, and these guys are not, we're, we're grazing. We're going, we brought them out here. This is our mode of transportation. There's over 40 pounds of puppies right here. We were not carrying them, so we brought them in my rolling wagon with a cage on it. Made it much easier on us. So, uh, but these guys are gonna go back home and they are on dry dog food. They uh, have been fed free choice, so they eat whenever they're hungry. They're current on everything they can have and I also should say they're also spayed. Uh, so that is done and that expense is finished for you. So that was done about, I think last Monday was when it was done. So their spare is finished and their shots are current. Their wormings are current. So you can uh, call Amy and pick her brain if there's anything else you'd like to know uh, as far as anything else going on with these guys. I know they give them a bath on a regular basis. Um, ears are plucked. Toenails are done. Uh, what else can I throw at you? 
they've done so far good riding in the car. This one says, I think I'm going to experiment. What is this? It says, nope, I'm going to go right through them. Your guys are such stinkers. We brought you out toys, and you're not even going to look at them and experiment. Let's see if the purple one gets back in the water. It's back there for a drink. Nope, not going to get in the water. They do it. They actually do. Stander Snauzers like the water. This one's going to experiment over there. It's looking at going through the tube. It's going to lay there with its head in it. <laughs> Let me see where it's at. Let's see if it's got its head in there. No, we got them and moved. Uh, so if you live near 